Hello, it's Elizabeth from Elizabeth's Oracle. Thank you so much for tuning in today. We are going to talk about the sun through Sagittarius for 2019, which includes Jupiter moving into Capricorn for the next year. Here are the start times for each section of this video. Thank you again for joining me today and let's look at some charts. All right, so as usual, what we'll do is we'll, I will pull up charts uh, that show you how the planets move throughout the cycle while the sun is in Sagittarius. So that starts with chart number one right here for November 22nd, the day that the sun actually enters. There it's zero degrees of Sagittarius on the left hand side of the chart in yellow. All the fire signs will be in yellow, the earth in green, water in blue, and your air signs are in the gray, like at the top of the chart with the moon in Libra. So next to Libra, if we're going counterclockwise, is Scorpio. So we have Mars newly entered into Scorpio, happened at the very end of the sun through Scorpio cycle. Next to that, we have Mercury finally direct. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> um, that is in the shadow period till December 7th, but it is moving in the right direction. Moving on ahead, of course, the sun goes into Sagittarius, which is the sign after Scorpio, and that's where it finds Venus all the way at 25 degrees here. So obviously getting ready to head into Capricorn, but before that, it will make a connection with Jupiter. That's a very big day in the cycle. And then, of course, we have the planets in Capricorn, and we're going to talk a lot about those. So I just want you to get your bearings here on this first chart and see kind of where the planets are moving. What I will point out about that date, uh, the 24th, just two days after this chart is cast, where Venus, it's pretty easy to tell, is going to catch up with Jupiter. Um, if you go a little further back up the chart to Mars, newly entered into Scorpio, and you look directly across the chart to that lower right hand area, you're going to see Uranus also at early degrees. So yes, those two are going to meet up on the same day. <laughs> so Mars is now in intense Scorpio activating things, passions. Uranus, of course, is the awakener bringing in surprises and showing us kind of where we need a, a change and a shift. So it's going to be interesting to see how those two they're in opposite so something's got to come up um so see what comes up around there but also see where you can um, make your own luck from it because that venus jupiter connection is uh, especially with jupiter in late degrees of its home sign finishing out its transit as a very um positive aspect so that's chart number one. So chart number two, just a couple of days later on the 26th here, you guys know I always do a new moon chart for all of my people who like to just, I always recommend cleaning the house, cleaning your altar, cleaning, you know, things that are uh, sacred or spiritual to you at the dark moon and then setting out your intentions with the new moon. And this, of course, coming so close to the Venus Jupiter conjunction is embodying the energies of Sagittarius and it's an early moon again four degrees here um, so we are just gently setting out our intentions and um, we also have Neptune you can't quite tell from these charts but it is getting ready to go direct so a lot of the information that's kind of come to you intuitively or spiritually just from that vast cosmic sea of just insight um, that maybe you haven't been able to implement with Neptune moving forward, you will start to get some momentum on that and be able to integrate some of those Piscean Neptunian insights and hunches that you've been um, compiling over the last several months. So those are set to start being able to move in motion and just, you know, with a little help from Mercury going in the right direction as well. So that's chart number two. And the other, the only other thing I want to mention about this one is you start to see the pileup in Capricorn now that Venus has moved 
officially into Capricorn. So Capricorn's going to be a really big theme just really the next few months because we just have so much coming up in it. So that's chart number two. And chart number three, this is the big day, December 2nd. This is Jupiter changing signs for the first time in a year. It's going to be in Capricorn until December 19th of 2020. Long transit and of course, so much a part of the pileup in Capricorn. That's why I was saying pay attention because that's going to keep coming up. Um, I'm going to go into Jupiter in part two, but just note this date. The other thing I want to point out that stuck out for me in this chart, for those of you who have a copy of your chart, look at what is around eight degrees because if you will notice, the nodes have moved to eight degrees and Mars is at eight degrees of Scorpio in this chart. So you want to see if any of those points coincide with what's at eight degrees in your chart, what kind of angles they're making to that, um, because this is talking about our life direction. This is Mars getting into Scorpio, digging up stuff and just working to transform whatever is not in alignment with our our path. So just want to point that one out and let's jump on to chart number four. All right. So in chart number four, um, this is the full moon. So where those new moon intentions can come to fruition. And this one's all the way at 19 degrees of Gemini. So a little impact for you mutable sign people. See what is at 19, 20 degrees, 21, because as you can see, not only is this full moon at 19 degrees and 52 minutes, Saturn and Pluto in Capricorn at that degree. So everything that's in your chart that aligns at that degree um, gets impacted by where the planets are so they kind of come around and put some pressure onto that we're also getting ready for mars to trine with neptune here so very beautiful chart for the new moon and the other huge thing is we are building up to one of the first big aspects now that we have jupiter in capricorn we are going to have jupiter trine Uranus. So Jupiter there in the lower right hand corner with all those planets in Capricorn going about a third of the way around the chart to Uranus. That's going to be our first sort of like experience of Jupiter in Capricorn. Um, it's got lots of other big connections. We're going to talk about those next. Let's jump into part two and do a deeper dive. All right, so if you're new to my videos, what I do in part two is I give a little overview of the sign that the sun is traveling through, which in this case is Sagittarius, and then I highlight um, whatever transit is happening or combination that I think is important. So in this case, it is that Jupiter moving into Capricorn. So let's give you an overview of each and keep them separated, hopefully, so I don't confuse you. So first thing, the sun is in Sagittarius um, from November 22nd till December 21st. And when we talk about Sagittarius, this is the mutable fire sign in astrology. It is the ninth house ruler and it's symbolized by the archer or the archer's bow pointing us to the horizon. So topics that come up are philosophy, travel, um, belief systems, study, uh, long distance uh, is kind of the idea, but because it's that mutable fire energy, um, it's a very friendly, affable, wants to get along with a lot of people. Um, the mutables tend to blend and they also finish out their season and get us ready uh, for the next. So it's just kind of seen as warmth, and the other aspect we bring in is which planet rules the sign. So in this case, it is Jupiter. This planet's associated with good fortune, benevolence, luck, 
optimism. Um, we also have a sporting and playful aspect associated with Sagittarius and Sagittarians. Um, but really, it's an uplifting kind of energy that gives us a lot of enthusiasm, encouragement, and brings back some light after the deep, dark Scorpio energy. <laughs> and Jupiter is finishing its homecoming there. Jupiter takes 12 years to travel through all 12 signs and so it will not be back here for you know until another 11 years uh, beginning that 12th year so that moves us on to part two which is Jupiter going in changing signs moving into Capricorn for the next year now one thing I want to bring up and just dispense with right away one thing I want to dispense with right away is there are a lot of people saying, oh my God, the last time Jupiter was in Capricorn, you know, was during the economic crash. None of this happens in a vacuum and one planet isn't responsible. No, you know, obviously at some point there'll be corrections and there'll be a downturn. Um, who's to say there, there can be planetary aspects? Um, but I wouldn't pin that all on Jupiter. Kind not to let anybody scare you is basically what I'm saying here. And the big aspects that I want to point out, um, and again, we're going to look at those as they come up next year when I do these monthly videos, but I do want to give you this overview. So what we talk about is when Jupiter is going to be making these big connections and we'll get the first one, like I said, December 15th when it connects with Uranus. So we'll get a taste of what is Jupiter doing in Capricorn. So Jupiter expansion, luck, enthusiasm going into austere, conservative, Saturn ruled Capricorn, very different energies that are going to have to learn to blend and get along. Personally, I see this as a good thing because Jupiter can be about exaggeration and um, it can be irrational exuberance to use the word. It can overestimate. So if it's put through the paces of conservative Capricorn, it will have to bring thing, keep things down to earth. Capricorn is one of our earth signs and it is extremely pragmatic and realistic. So that's going to help, I think, keep things um, in a good place as far as us keeping our expectations realistic or us having to do the work, even if we have big, bright, beautiful ideas and inspiration. Capricorn gives us the stamina. Remember, it's symbolized by the mountain goat. So it sees that mountaintop and it works to get there one step at a time. So those two can work together, although technically, you know, it's when Jupiter is in Capricorn, that's considered the fall. And it's, you know, these are very different energies. It's a different place. However, the combinations that Jupiter is going to be making from, from Capricorn, I think are going to be very helpful ones. So let's look at that after we get through the Uranus one. We have a connection with the nodes in January, right around the Saturn-Pluto conjunction and the eclipse. Of course, I'm going to focus on all of that next month when I do the Capricorn video. But for right now, just know that Jupiter is going to, again, every time we get the nodes um, connected with, we're looking at what we're presently doing and where our path is supposed to be going. And we're kind of asking are we in alignment with that, with our sort of soul work that we came here to do? So that'll be another one. And again, in the middle of a blockbuster bunch of alignments around that time. So more on that next month. Let's get to Jupiter connecting with Neptune. Again, Jupiter and all these planets in Capricorn sextile and everything when the um, personal planets move through Pisces this is a very favorable these are our sextiles so this is very helpful alignment again Neptune gives us the inspiration but from a very deep spiritual a most unknown and unknowable plate it's the cosmic ocean so we get this intuition and this spiritual guidance about things. And so working with Jupiter, I kind of see this as a different iteration. You guys, we work through the Saturn sextiles to Neptune all through 2019. This should be a little more fun. <laughs> 
Um, this is Jupiter, so it's, you know, not quite as serious and stoic, you know, um, and maybe not quite as hard as Saturn was on us. So these are very constructive alignments that will be happening throughout the year that can help you bring um, those things those aspirations into form which again anytime we deal with an earth sign Capricorn we deal with bringing it into the tangible so that's a helpful aspect and then the the huge one we're going to have three Jupiter Pluto conjunctions this is big so Pluto of course is reforming our institutions government banking from Capricorn getting to the truth clearing out corruption Pluto just doesn't mess around and so when Jupiter comes along expanding the energies and activating them these could be some colossal stories hitting the headlines or some colossal systemic changes that happen when these two get together three times and again it's not just those specific dates because when we deal with the outer planets there's a buildup around each date because those outer planets especially Pluto and it takes a while for that exact conjunction but the the force is at work a couple weeks before a couple weeks after so note those and also this is where you can make massive change in your path in your life and getting down to what you really want to do and where you really want to apply your energy and again Jupiter aspirational bringing it into form and doing the work to get it done and make it um, make it real. So those are some basics about that. And otherwise, let's go on to the resources section. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. I am Elizabeth from Elizabeth's Oracle. All of the links to everything for getting a reading, joining the newsletter, etc. are always in the description box below. If you like this video, please feel free to like, share, or subscribe. I put out a video once a month just when the sun changes signs. There is also a free newsletter to sign up for that gives you um, more information and like a copy of that key date guide as well as an oracle message. Um, that one also has subscribers only exclusives like for sales and things like that um, and again I'm always respectful with your information it's never shared sold any anything like that I treat you guys like I want to be treated when I join an email list so that comes out once a month and then if you are uh, learning more and wanting to keep up more you can visit my home page on Sundays because I post an overview of the week now that's not specific to all 12 signs um, it's an overview just explaining any weekly changes and shifts that are happening but I'm posting those very regularly on Sundays so you can get that that's another free resource and of course there is free minute Friday <laughs> <laughs> you guys know I love this and I thank you those of you who order on Friday so what that is is if you order a reading and sometimes you can even apply those subscriber only specials from the newsletter um, with your free minute Friday to get a really good deal so um, when you order on a Friday you get five minutes added to your order just to help everybody out um, and make it affordable so um, you can have the reading any day of the week but you have to get a hold of me on a Friday to um, order the reading um, otherwise, I think that's all the announcements, you know, um, stay connected and all of that. And really, thank you so much for watching. I hope that the Sagittarius cycle is really good to you. And especially this Jupiter through Capricorn transit for the whole next year. I think it's going to be very positive. Um, so I'll talk to you more about Capricorn in general in about a month. And uh, in the meantime, Happy Thanksgiving, many, many blessings, and thank you so, so much for watching.